when you've made over 250 videos, if you do finally have your moment, I feel like you've earned it regardless. It is the truth. I got excited when that video went viral. I was like, this could change my life. So I started this YouTube channel in 2019. Love today filming this video, recording this video. I am sitting on 1,777 subscribers. And I know there'll be a lot of people out there who've been on YouTube for a while who are less than that, but I also know there'll be a lot of people out there who are on far, far more than that. So why do I still continue to make these videos. Well, this wasn't even my first channel, to be honest. I actually started one when I moved to Tokyo called Tomo in Tokyo in 2016. And what I planned to do when I made that channel was make fitness content based out of Japan. Now, later on, I'd come to realize that that might have been a missed opportunity, but I just didn't stick at it long enough. And that's on me. Maybe it was a confidence issue. Maybe it was a persistence issue. I remember making a few videos and maybe it just didn't kick off or pick up as quickly as I was hoping or expecting. Fast forward to 2019, I decided I was gonna give it another shot. Complete new start, make a new channel, and I wanted to marry two of my biggest passions, which were filmmaking. We all say that nowadays. Everyone's a content creator nowadays, but I actually studied film in university and didn't really use it career-wise, especially since I moved abroad. And fitness, obviously, I found my passion for fitness probably five years too late. I wish I'd found it earlier and I probably would have gone in a different direction in life. But I found myself in a situation where I wanted to marry these two passions. YouTube offered the perfect opportunity to do that. So I put some videos out in mid to late 2019, but then I actually ended up moving country and that can be very disruptive. Then COVID happened, made some videos during COVID, but wasn't really overly consistent with it. Then my wife got pregnant, blah, blah, blah. And in 2022, I had an opportunity, a little period of transition, some downtime, if you will, just before I moved back to Tokyo, where I did put out five or six videos. Now, in January of 2023, I started getting some notifications on my YouTube studio app. And I remember one particular comment which really stood out to me because to me, I don't know if it triggered something in the algorithm, but I really put down a change in my YouTube fortunes down to this comment. Someone wrote, this channel is so underrated, great content, you need more followers. And that really stuck with me because suddenly that triggered a whole chain of comments and one particular video this video seemingly went viral now today i sit here that video is at 55,000 views now not much for most people i know i know there's people who get that in the first hour of upload but for me that's massive and for me it was a massive outlier in my youtube journey it was such a rarity for me to get those views I also gained 844 subscribers thanks to that video alone. And I'm gonna admit it guys, I'm gonna tell you what no one else will. I liked it, I liked the attention, I liked the views. I thought to myself, I already enjoy doing this. I already enjoy making these videos. And if people actually watch them, it is gonna feel so much more satisfying. I decided there and then during that period, I'm not gonna give up. I am gonna keep making content. Content that I believe will help people if it finds the right audience. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm not interested in enhancements. I'm not interested in any of that stuff. I'm interested in a lean, aesthetic physique. I stay in my lane and I put content out that is relevant to that. Now, of course, I have experimented with different content. I was in Japan. I made some videos about gyms in Japan, about gym culture in Japan, and they got some views. Don't get me wrong. Yet again, I'm not going to over egg the pudding. Six, seven, eight thousand views they're sitting on right now, but that is more than I get on my other videos. But I knew I wasn't going to be in Japan long term, so I didn't want to build the entire channel around Japan at that point in time. I wanted to keep it focused on something that I could do from anywhere because I didn't know where I was going to be right now. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. Perhaps I was overanalyzing things in that regard, but I didn't want to build an audience that wanted to see content about Japan if I knew that I was going to be disappearing from Japan three, four months later. 
but I'd made this choice that I was going to continually put out content. I didn't put a schedule in place like one video a week or two videos a week. I thought I want to always be working on something and I've kept to that ever since. It's been bloody hell a year and a half of that now and guess what? My channel has barely grown since. I mean, it has grown. I've been monetized. Not that that's made a great deal of difference to my life. I've barely made a penny out of it. I gradually gained more subscribers over time. But what people really want on YouTube, consistent views. I've not been able to find them yet. And that is down to me. That might just be the fact that this content isn't that good. <laughs> and I'm aware of that. I'm not delusionally saying the content is amazing. It's YouTube's fault that I'm not rich and famous yet. I'm saying I'm going to stay true to myself. I'm going to keep putting what I believe to be great content out there. And hopefully, like I said before, it does eventually find the right audience. So in conclusion, guys, yes, this YouTube channel has seemingly changed my life. I've always got something that I'm focused on now, no matter what else is going on in my life, what else is going on in my career finance wise money wise family wise i'm always focused on this do i expect it's gonna happen one day honestly i'm not expecting anything is the truth i got excited when that video went viral i was like this could change my life once that excitement wore off i got a bit more realistic and thought you know what just keep grinding away if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen if it doesn't it doesn't in this past year and a half or so i've realized the content i've been putting out even though i've been confident in it it's been very hit and miss some of the videos get some views most of them don't which is very demoralizing I do and will always engage with my audience and I have connected with some good people, but there's also some people who just want to bring you down. When everyone was making videos about Mike Mensa, for example, I made a couple of videos, contributed to the conversation, got some views, but I also got a lot of people who just wanted to basically openly insult me. I get used to that sort of negativity. The biggest thing I've learned is not to expect a thing. And I think that's cool. Every time I put a video up, of course I check the views, of course, when the views are starting to go up, I'm like, please let this one pop off, let this one pop off. And usually it just levels out eventually. Often with successful people, you see them in interviews, whether it be singers, actors, etc., saying this didn't happen overnight. And if one video does pop off in the future, maybe I will find a little bit of success, but I know that it won't be overnight success because it'll be built on the foundation, on the groundworks, of all the work that I've put in previously. And even if it's not directly related to that work, in terms of creating a body of work, when you've made over 250 videos, if you do finally have your moment, I feel like you've earned it regardless. So thank you for watching this one today, guys. Hope you found it interesting. Please do feel free to check out the channel if you are interested in the fitness content. And if you want to support, drop a like, comment, subscribe, etc. And of course, until the next time, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.